Hello, I'm Matthew from Ludovox.fr and today I'm going to give you an overview of Mythicus. Mythicus is a 2-4 player game for players ages 10 and up and plays for around 30 to 60 minutes. In this game you play as builders and you want to build on Mount Olympus and you need to bring your resources on several steps of Mount Olympus if you want to build high on the mountain. The higher you build, the more points the buildings are worth and you're going to have to combine bringing your resources up and building them, but also attracting the favor of the gods while uh, doing worker placement on this board. So that's what's going on in Mythicus. How do you play? You play in turns and on your turn you simply move your builder on a different area. For example, it is my turn, I am the first player, I will move to that area and I will take the action that's there. For example, I could take that allotment of resources, so one marble and one stone, and because I have the favor of that god, I can also have the uh, bonus action. For example, in this case, I will take uh, a favor token. I'm going to take a Hades favor token, and that's the end of my turn. We move on to the next player's turn, and they have to choose a free space. They would have taken this action, but they cannot, because I am already there. So they will go somewhere else, they will go here, and they will simply take a favor token. They will take this one, and as they have the Poseidon uh, favor token, they will take the bonus action and take two stone from the supply, and they will place it here. As you may notice, we have different steps, and the higher your resources, the higher you can build. Now we move on to the next player, and the next player will take this action, and this action allows them to move resources three steps. So they could do one, two, and three. And now their resources are a bit higher up. However, they do not have a Hades favor token, so they will not take a bonus action. However, whenever a player takes an action, other players can follow if they spend a matching token. For example, in this case they have taken an, a Hades action, I can spend a Hades token to take that same action. So I could move my resources one, two, and three steps because that's the main action. But following an action doesn't grant you access to the bonus action. Now that's the end of that player's turn, I will simply choose another action spot to move to and I could move for example here, there and so on and so forth. As a reminder, you have to move and you cannot stay on the same spot. So you will do that to gather resources and you gather resources to build your buildings. Your buildings have a fixed cost which is here and also you will have to bring your resources up. So for example, if I want to build this big city, I need to have three uh, stone and three marble and if I want to build it on level two I need to bring them all to level two and then spend them and perform and take that action. If I take that action, for example let's imagine I do have the res those resources on my turn, I take that action, I will spend the resources and build that and take the matching token and that allows me to go on level two and place that building. However, when you build a building, you get special bonuses. For example, I take a gold and I can place it wherever in my board. So you will be able to build and as you build up, you're going to have multiple benefits. For example, that generates resources on a spot where you have a small or big city. And for example, if you build the temples, you're going to get more offerings. So now offerings are something that you can get from spaces and it, it helps attracting the favor of the gods. You start with one god each and the gods are going to be worth victory points at the end of the game and also give you a special ability. For example, Poseidon allows you to follow um, the action with any uh, sort of favor token. I have a bonus when I take the green actions and so on and so forth. So you generate those favor tokens with the favor symbols. But then you also have the uh, make an offering action. When you make an offering you're going to give away your offerings for the gods to join you. And for example I can take this one, make an offering action and I will simply take it by making an offering and I simply can offer resources to them. Now I have control of that god, I have that scoring, that endgame scoring and also that special ability. However, if I take the uh, make an offering action, I can also steal from my opponents. Let's imagine I do have those resources and I take that action. I may take Persephone because she has less offering than what I'm willing to spend. The uh, orange player will take back 
the resource and I will place two like so because I make more offerings than what they had uh, on Persephone. And now I, I have control over Persephone. You can also lock uh, guards. For example, if I have four uh, on Dionysus, you're going to notice that the lowest value lock has four offerings on them. And I will simply remove the tokens and take the lock instead. And Dionysus cannot be stolen from me any longer during the game. And at the end of my turn, if any card doesn't have a lock, it is turned face up and it's available for everyone to buy. So that's basically the gist of it. You're going to try to gather resources and move your resources up, build your buildings to score and also take the guards to benefit from their abilities and scoring at the end of the game. Do not forget the favors that allow you to follow suit uh, with the actions of the other players. The game will end whenever one of three conditions is met. Either you don't have any more locks or a player has finished building all of the buildings or three out of four of the steps of Mount Olympus are full. And in this case, you count up points, you add up the points for every kind of building. Um, the buildings are worth a, a set amount of points and they are multiplied by the height of the uh, building. And you're going to score all of those, your gods, and the highest total is the winner. That's it for Meticus. So this is a game in which you try to gather resources, bring them up to build uh, beautiful buildings that score you a lot of points. However, do not forget that you can uh, gather resources to get the favor of the gods even from your opponents. Bye bye, see you on the